All right, hey, Shalom. I'm going to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. And Shalom to all the Akin pushing his truth with sincerity. Okay, and this is going to be something quick through the spirit. Um, you know, just watching some videos from the brothers. Apostle Rhyme Lab did a beautiful video. And you know, hey, it's about that time, man, okay? It's like the, the apostle said, when the time comes, the time is, you know, is coming. And, you know, it's not going to be held back, okay? Famine is coming, okay? Pilgrimage is coming, so on and so forth. So now is the time to detach more and more, okay? We got to understand that, you know, we about to lose everything here, okay? Whether you own houses or a car or just possessions that you, you know, worked hard for, it's all about to be lost, okay? But if you got that spiritual mindset, you understand that everything that you lose here or forsake here, you will gain back in the kingdom, okay? Even better, you know? But, you know... It's about to be that time where, you know, Jake going to become pilgrims on the earth, okay? Because they're going to, you know, um, you know, if you ain't got that, you know, that, 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 you know what, okay? In that day, you know, they're going to, you know, take away your food supply, water, you know, your housing, okay? Jake going to have to resolve back into going into the wilderness, whatever the case may be, okay? Those times are approaching, so we have to be, you know, in a spiritual mindset, okay, to, to you know, endure those times, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem and through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? And um, I got a still image of the movie Book of Eli because it's a great, okay, movie, okay, that coincides with what's bound to come, okay? And on a spiritual note, you know, it, what what guided him was basically Habash Shemal Shai, okay? If you watch the movie, you know, he had the last Bible on the earth, okay? Which it was um, written and um, written in, for, for a blind man, which I don't believe he was blind, but, you know, he could read, you know, blind letters, which he reiterated in the end where it would be the first published um, Bible back again on the earth, Okay? But what moved him was faith, okay, in the in the most high. It kept him going because he was chasing something, okay? He was chasing something, okay? And he didn't give up or let go even after he had got shot, okay? Endured all types of punishment. He still kept going, you know? And that's how we got to be, man. We got to endure to the end, past Jacob's trouble, past the MOTB. Past all these great tribulations, man, okay, in order to obtain salvation, Lord willing, okay, if we be of that number, okay, so let's just grab some scriptures really quick, like I said, this ain't gonna be long, but, um, we're just gonna go right into it, this is 2nd Edge 16, I'm gonna start at, oh, uh, man, this whole chapter fire. I'm going to just, uh, um, I'm going to start at 34. And the wars shall there, it, hey man, the whole chapter fire. And the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. The plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Okay, meaning that, you know, that they're going to come. Okay, they're not slack, man. Okay, they're not going to slow down for nobody. Okay, as woman, as when a woman with child in ninth month bringeth forth her son, 
with two or three or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. OK, so when it's time to have that child, OK, the child coming, OK, and the pain coming with it, ain't nothing going to take it away. OK, of course, now they got, you know, your little antibiotics and, you know, whatever little things to try to help it. But it's still still get them. OK, they not slack. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side, on every side. So all the plagues is going to hit. All the winds is going to be let loose. OK, all my people hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be as pilgrims upon the earth. Okay, so you people got the question. People got the question. What is a pilgrim? Okay, you think about you know the Native American Indian story with the pilgrims and you know the whole Thanksgiving um, concept of pilgrimage, which it 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 kind of it kind of goes with it, but let's just get more edification on it. And I got it um, pulled up here. In the blue letter, because, you know, they, the blue letter, I mean, the apocrypha is in, his, uh, in the blue letter. So let's grab it. It says, one who comes from a foreign country into a city or land to reside there by the side of the natives. A stranger, sojourner, in a strange place, a foreigner. Okay. So us being in the wilderness, we're going to go into all different types of lands, just wandering. Okay. Residing where we can. OK, getting full where we can, et cetera. OK, um, let's grab that word. So joining. OK, a temporary stay, stay somewhere temporary. OK, and that's how we're going to be upon the earth here and there. You know, might come into a abandoned house or a building or, you know, you're going to have to constantly stay on the move and be trusting on the Lord. OK, and then these times coming, you're going to lose everything, man. OK, your nice flat screen TV. OK, all that, man. OK, and the Lord is cold how he does stuff because, you know, he has got Jake to a point where he he he's a, he was able to accumulate. OK, a nice amount of goods. Okay, and that may be a stumbling block unto some people, man. Okay, they don't want to let go of, you know, their worldly possessions, okay, for nothing. Okay, because, you know, that um that spirit going to hit you where you're going to be thinking about oh, how hard you work for this and that. And, you know, but you got to have that, that tunnel vision, man. And it's truth, okay. Can't be caught up in the, in the affections of this world and in the things of this world. Okay, let's grab this. Um, it's a couple of them that's cold. I'm gonna get the one in Luke. What gun? Luke nine and twenty four. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Okay. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake. The same shall save it, okay? And um, that could be twofold, okay? Because when the MOTB come, you know, some people going to be trying to save their life, okay? You know, going to be trying to save their life, okay? Trying to comply, okay? You still going to end up losing it, okay? And then the ones who become mortals will lose their life, okay? But, but will gain their eternal life, okay? In the kingdom or be risen back up with Yahweh Shai, okay, when that day comes. Okay, and also, um, you know, it can be on a on a carnal note as well, okay, trying to save your life, meaning trying to save your possessions, okay, things you own, etc. Okay, just to maybe eventually lose them or whatever the case may. I mean, you will lose them, man, because the nukes is coming. Okay. The nukes is coming, okay? And you know. On the um, flip side, you got Jake, man, who's going to drop everything, okay, in order to keep enduring, okay, show their faith, etc., 
which eventually will gain them gain them life, man, salvation, etc. Okay? So hey man, we gotta come in that spirit. You know, we gotta be ready to lose everything, lose all our possessions, even lose our life, man, for the sake of Yahweh Bahashim and Shai. Okay, so that we can obtain salvation. Okay? So we could get the hell out of here, man. So we could get new bodies. We could get better things in abundance. Okay? Fuck a flat screen TV, man. Jake gonna have chariots. Fuck your little weak ass gas running car. Jake gonna have chariots. A kingdom, crowns, immortality, power, spiritual power, man. You gotta really think and dwell on them things and, and ask yourself how much do you really want those things, man? As I'm saying these these words right now, I'm asking myself that as well. How much do I really want to obtain salvation? How much do I really want immortality? What am I willing to give up for those things, man? Okay, let's grab this. One of my favorite scriptures, Matthew um, 19. Oh, where is that? Matthew 19 at the end. Okay. Matthew 19 and 27. I'm going to go at 26. But, with, but Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, With men this is, this is impossible, but with the Most High all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have thereof? Shalakia, therefore. And how shall I say unto them? Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in his in the throne of his glory, ye shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. So Jake gonna have power, man. Jake gonna be sitting on them thrones. Jake gonna um Obtain them crowns, man. Okay, Jake gonna be the top of you know the nation. Twenty nine and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters, or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay, so you forsaken all those things. Okay, mainly you know the possessions. Part of part of the um the um scriptures. Okay. That's a part of losing your life. Even your even your, your your family's your relative, man. You're losing your life. Okay, that's what life consists of. You know, family, okay, meat and bread, water, etc., man. You know, your house, you know, where your dwelling place, etc., man. You letting go of all of that, okay? Becoming a pilgrim, okay? Not worried about, you know, um, the cares or affairs of this life, etc., in order to obtain something that's everlasting, man. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, man. Cold scripture, man. Okay? So, hey, man, we're going to be last on this side. Okay? We cool with that, man. Fuck it. Just like me and the brothers talking about that camp, man. Like, we just done with this place. We done with these women. We're not trying to chase nothing. Not trying to, I'm not trying to chase after nothing, man. I just want to get the fuck out of here, man. Okay? Fuck the job. Fuck it, man. I mean, fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. We ain't got nothing to live for, man. This ain't our place to rest. And let's grab that too. Okay? Because Jake got to understand that as well. Michael 2 and 10. Okay? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. This place is polluted, man. Okay? America is polluted. It's defiled. Okay? It's through. Okay? If you if you keep continue to want to dwell in this place, you're bound for death, man. Okay? Rather it be from the water just fucked up the air. I mean, hey, you can't live here, man, at all. You can't live live no peaceful life here, man. Nothing. Okay? It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay? Hey, it's it's plain and simple, man. This ain't our place to rest, man. Okay. Uh, see if this come up. Con, Hebrews 13, 14, for here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come, okay? And that's just plain and simple. So, hey, man, we, we pilgrims at the end of the day. We just passing by, 
Okay, you really got to sin dwell and, th and think about that, man. We don't own nothing. We don't own these stores. We don't have nothing, man. Shit, the little apartments and houses we do got. We ain't we don't even own that. Got to pay all types of taxes or, or mortgages and whatever, man, to dwell there. We don't have nothing, man. Okay? So you got to really, you know, sit back and think about that in these times to come and understand what you're really into. And what you really chasing, man. This is all based off of faith, man. Okay? The works we do, this is all based off faith, man. We got to truly believe that Yahweh Shah is going to come and redeem us. He's going to set us up. He's going to bring forth the kingdom, man, in righteousness. And be a righteous ruler unto the nation of Israel. Okay? And that on the other side of this, man, it is peace and prosperity, man, in righteousness, man. Okay? So I'm not going to draw it out too much. Okay, it's it's about that time. Okay, so I said the book of Eli is a good film to watch, and it's on Netflix. Okay, if you got Netflix, if you want to catch it, I will. Um, I might have to watch it again through the spirit. I think I Am Legend is on there. All these movies that's based off of you know, um, apocalyptic times and and just so sojourning and just you know being out there. Okay, but like I said, the book of Eli got a spiritual um note in it. Because, you know, it references the scriptures a lot, okay, and how he trusted in, in the Most High through his journey, man, okay, to get him where he needed to go. And he didn't stop, okay, going through that journey, okay, or stop that journey or, or, or get weary, okay, until he, he obtained it, man. As a matter of fact, let me grab this just to end it off. Because Eli, he had that endurance, He had that endurance. Go to Matthew. This is Matthew 24. And you know, this is a fire chapter as well. I'm going to start at 12 and get to the point. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, and that's coming too. Okay. That's coming too. The love of many shall wax cold, man, in these times. Okay? People going to be coming against people. It's going to be real, man. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? Unto the end. Okay? Matter of fact, see what we get for that. Tell us. In termination, the limit at which a thing ceases to be all, all, always of the end of some act or state, but not of the end of a period of time, okay? And you know what's, what end is coming? The, the end of Esau's rulership, man, okay? The end of this hellhole, man, okay? And we got to, you know, and when would I end finally um, be? When Yahweh Shai comes, when them nukes hit, man, Okay? The last in any su succession or series eternal, that by which a thing is finished, its close issue, the end of which all things relate, the aim, purpose, told, custom. Okay, so you get the point, man. Okay, hey, let me go to Apostle Car. About to catch that. So, hey, man, shalom. I'm gonna give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakodash. Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Shalom.